Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and this is another video for a custom order. This time is again for a new hairline for a person that just requested it. Um, this person is from Serbia, let me just find his photos. Okay, this is his hairline. As you can see, this is the photo that he sent me. And as you can see, it's not only receding, but it's also kind of thin. And he just showed me another photo of his head in the back to show me probably the color but as I can see the color is just one B it's like a typical uh, black slash brown hair color so he also sent me in PDF the the shape of his mold with all the measurements and everything and I just duplicated that over here as you can see it looks like a boomerang and now he requested me to make the piece slightly thicker than his own hair on the top uh, sorry on the front because it's his his hair is not only receding but it's also very thin so this is going to go in front of his hair own hair and he's usually he usually uses his hair um brushed backwards as a pompadour and this is going to conceal his own hair but i'm not going to make it too thick now for the hair um i think this is this is this hair is the, the typical virgin uh Indian, Brazilian or whatever, not uh, Chinese because I have a couple of Chinese here and the strands are so thick. I don't know he, the thickness of his strands but I don't think it's worth making a hairline with Chinese hair because it's so thick and I'm gonna use a very fragile na lace. I'm gonna be using this is a Daniel 40 not this one. I'm going to use the Denier 20 slash 30 from Hugo Royer, which is very good for hairlines. And as in hair, Chinese hair is not good for this lace because it's so thick and in general the knots are huge and everything. So I'm going to use Indian hair. I think this hair is pretty okay to be used. This is not too thin hair. This is slightly thinner. This is... Here. No, they're just the same. Just slightly, slightly different color. This is slightly darker than that, I think. And of course, this is so long. I think this is gonna be enough for a hairline. I don't know if it's not enough. I have this hair as well. They're pretty much the same hair because this has a lot of filters in there, and I'm, I'm not planning to use them. And I'm gonna make the hairline much longer than what she has, like I don't know about 10 centimeters, which is like four inches, and then he can cut it accordingly. So I just put it on my mannequin head. I have put some tape over the um, the paper so as to conceal it. And I've also put, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. I've put some typical, you know, thread just to line it up. I don't really need to, but I think it uh, it's, you know, more sure and more secure if you just, for example, you tilt it for for a reason you still have a pattern on top of it i've been using this for all of my creations so i'm gonna super pin it down and i'm gonna putting the pins much away from the area of interest because if for any reason we have anything getting ripped i'm not gonna be um ripping any parts near the the piece Okay, so I just cut off some of the hair from the weft and I have also discarded Can you see that? I discarded the very short strands A lot of garbage in my room <laughs> And I'm gonna fold it somehow like this And ventilate Now, I'm gonna ventilate um, on a two direction The same way I always do with my hairlines because it doesn't create like a strict pattern and since he's going to be putting the hair backwards it's going to create a, both a volume but also it's not going to be difficult to put it backwards or sideways or anything he wants okay so the hairline is finished it's not very thin not very thick um he wanted it thicker than his own hair and this is thicker than his hair the knots are bleached. I bleached it two times because the first time that I bleached it, I just left it for a little bit of time so as to make sure that it wouldn't over bleach it. But this hair was a little resistant to bleach, so I saw that it was not 
blitzed enough so I blitzed it one more time this is the back and I have plenty of place now the knots are slightly visible because this is against a super white contrast and I'm gonna have to put it against my skin to show you a little better how it looks I put it against my forehead to see but the thing is that I don't have this kind of hairline so it couldn't fit my hair like this was this would be near my if this was in my temples here then this would have to be near my eyebrow so I can't really put it on my head to show you how that looks but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna put it against my my skin there you go it's good enough this is the best thing I can do with it and it was very light density so I think it's just fair enough to have it like that I wouldn't bleach it more because it would just destroy the unit so yeah I'm going to show him the photos and then I'm gonna send it to him so stay tuned and ask me anything you want And if you have any questions for my job or generally in wig making, you can ask me. I'm going to answer your questions. So this is how it looks against a brown background. Of course, it, this is darker than my skin, of course. And I, it's darker than his skin as well. But I'm showing you how beautiful that looks. I also braided it. So when I send it to him, it's not going to be a tangled mess. And of course, as you can see, this is very long. His hair is not that long. He will be able to cut it and give him a, himself a beautiful haircut. Let me just zoom in. That's how beautiful it looks.